Do you get really nervous around guys you like? Do you absolutely dread going to social events? Maybe you're a little shy or are you just lacking a little confidence? Regardless, what if I were to tell you that starting today, you can be one of the most outgoing women in a room? Watch this video to find out how. So something I hear from my clients all the time is, Adam, once I get to know someone, I'm really comfortable and confident. But when I meet someone for the first time, I get really nervous because they don't know me. And what do I say back? Of course you do. Everybody does. This is what is known as a truism. It means that it's true for everyone on this planet. Everyone can relate to that. So stop thinking, first off, that you're the only one out there and that there's something wrong with you. There isn't. And it can be overcome. These four tips will enable you to drop that shy mentality and allow you to be the life of the party starting today. So number one, first, realize that no one gives a crap about you. You heard me, no one gives a crap about you. And I mean that in the most positive way imaginable. We as humans are so narcissistic that when we walk into a room, we think that everyone's watching us because we are the center of our own universe. But in reality, everyone is a center of their own universe. So if you do something stupid or embarrassing or ridiculous or approach someone and say something stupid, it's okay. Just remember, no one really cares. They only care about themselves. Second, if you want to start being really social in a room when you first walk into it, just focus on the behavior of actually talking to a certain number of people rather than the outcome of the interactions. This is called being outcome independent. Stop concerning yourself so much with the outcome of every interaction. You know, did he ask for my phone number? Did I get him to laugh? What did it go all right? Was it a great interaction? That stuff doesn't matter. Just be happy that you committed yourself to talking to a certain number of people. Set a goal. Talk to five people on any given night, anywhere you go. And don't worry about anything else other than the behavior of actually just getting out there and talking to those people. Third, be a social athlete and warm up. Now I'm a big CrossFitter, as you definitely know, but what you might not know is that out of a one hour CrossFit class, usually the workouts are only about five to 12 minutes long. The rest of the time is focused on warming up and stretching, getting ready for that workout. Same thing exactly applies when you go out and meet guys. Spend most of your night just chatting it up with people who do not intimidate you. And then when the time is right and you're feeling just like on fire, you know those times when you're just feeling good and just like in a social flow, that's the time when you should work your way closer to that guy across the room who you've had your eye on all night. And step number four, the final step, is living and dying by the five minute rule. This means that you will give anyone, I don't care who it is, any freaking one, five minutes of your time. The only obvious exception is, of course, if you feel unsafe or uncomfortable around that person, then please always listen to your gut. But most women, they end up spending their entire night fixating on one, maybe two guys in a given room and wonder why they get nervous when they actually meet those guys. Please open up your horizon to just anyone in the room when you're first just kind of walking in. It'll build your confidence and you just never know who you might be attracted to. So always give anyone five minutes of your time. Remember, shyness with men is something that you can overcome if you believe it's possible. It just takes a little bit of focus and just a little bit of action. So if you enjoyed this video and you haven't signed on to the Sexy Confidence Newsletter to get more videos just like this, then you are definitely just being a little shy. So get on it. The link is right below sexyconfidence.com. And please, if you enjoyed this video, like it on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Send it to a friend if she needs a little bit of help. And please comment below if you have any questions or comments. I really look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks.